Hello guys, Keep Rice on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop us a we are closing in on 2,500 subscribers. So if you haven't already and you are watching this video, please, it would help the channel out massively, drop a sub. So we've got two bits of news to talk about in today's video. We're going to be starting off with, of course, Jude Bellingham's move to Real Madrid. It's been confirmed. He's going to move um, to Real Madrid for a report. Well, I think it's 88 million, but you know, it's 88 million, but there could be like bonuses added on. So Birmingham City set for big payday as Drew Bellingham agrees 88 million Real Madrid transfer. Um, the fee could reach 115 million in add ons. That's what I was on about. It would make him the most expensive British player ever. So he's gone. He's gone from playing. For Blues, having one season at Blues in 2019-20 to now four years later playing for Real Madrid. What a story. What a story. Fully deserves it as well. He's got the world at his feet, Drew Bellingham has. And he's helped the club uh, the club out massively as well. Um, so, um, yeah, we're not going to read this whole article. But, um, yeah, Dortmund paid, um, of course, we had we got £25 million for Bellingham in 2020. Um... Blues will be entitled to a percentage of the £60 million plus profit Dortmund are set to make on Bellingham. A salon clause was inserted in the deal which took Bellingham to Germany and Blues will now cash in. Um, while the exact figure isn't public knowledge, estimate estimates um, range from between 5 to 15% of any profit Dortmund makes. 5% of £60 million would, uh, would equate to £3 million for Blues, whereas 15% if we got 15%, it would boost the club's um, coffers by £9 million. Pounds. Of course, um, no one really knows like the exact amount that we'll, we'll get. I mean, I've seen loads of reports saying different numbers. So, yeah, I mean, with Drew Bellingham now officially gone to Real Madrid, that's obviously going to be um, beneficial to us because we get some of that money. Who knows how much it will be? £3 million at the least. So, you know... It's 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 good. Maybe we can use that money to maybe like bring in Bielik, maybe one or two players on a permanent basis. That would be good. So yeah, the second bit of let me know what you think. By the way, about um Jude Bellingham, and does anyone actually know the exact amount? Let me know. So the second bit of news now, Gary Cook, of course, was linked um with Blues to come into the football club a couple of weeks ago to be our new CEO. Of course, former Man City CEO as well. Um, and uh, this is from The Athletic. Um, Gary Cook to leave Saudi Pro League role to become Birmingham City CEO. Birmingham City are set, are set to appoint Gary Cook as their new she, uh, che, chief executive um, officer. Of course, he was the CEO of Manchester City from May 2008 to September 2011. He will leave his role as the executive president and CEO of the Saudi Pro League. Um, he has only been there five months. Um, Cook will begin, will begin work at Birmingham following Tom Wagner's takeover of the championship club. Um, the Birmingham-born executive appointed Mark Hughes and Roberto Mancini during his time. He um, also helped City sign the likes of Carlos Tevez, Emmanuel Aldebayor and Colo Torre. Um, Prior to working for City, Cook enjoyed a successful career with Nike, where he closely, where he worked closely with Michael Jordan. After leaving City, he had stints with UFC and esports firm um, G J fin G Finity. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think on these two bits of news. Of course, it's heating up now. Um, Gary Cook coming to Birmingham looks like. Our new CEO. I've heard people say, you know, they're not really, you know, um, feeling this. They're not really um, excited about Gary Cook coming to the football club. But I think, you know, he's a Blues fan as well, I believe. So him coming to the football club is going to be a massive boost for us. We need we need football people that know what they're doing at the football club. And that's what we're getting with Gary Cook. What's, you can't be a bad CEO if you're getting um, jobs at Manchester City. And, of course... Um, Jude Bellingham moving to Real Madrid, that's going to help us out massively um, in the summer transfer window, hopefully, anyway. Anyway, it's been Keeper on Tom TV. Here, make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes. As I said, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, as always.
keep on some.